In this video, we're going to look at how to use masks to create shapes or texts with images or other things that you like behind them. And this could include multiple steps. Welcome to Mac Mingle. And this is an effect we'll cover in another video. So to begin, let's go ahead and press Command Spacebar. And that'll bring up Spotlight. Let's type in Keynote. Here we go. And then let's open a new document and select the basic white. And then let's delete what's in there. Presentation, subtitle, author, and date. And this is what we're going to make for our first cut. There are three different versions. Take a shape and make a background pop up. So what we do is we drag an image in first, any image you like, stretch it out to fit the entire box if you're going to use the entire box. And then go over to Format and come down to Image. And we're going to mask with a shape. We do not have a mask here. We're going to use shape. And these are the shapes that are available. So we can go to the right and look at rectangle, oval, triangle. Let's pick up a star. And the star pops up on the screen. Now expand it to the size that you want. You can keep it in that square aspect ratio, or you can stretch it out any way you like. And once you've got the size about where you want it to be, and what you're seeing, the dark blue, is what's going to come out in the final image. There you see the clouds and the star. And so pick a spot. I think I like the clouds. So let's come back here. You can see those clouds and the star. And once you've got that set, click Done. And now you have the image. You can copy this image, copy paste it, and use it in other projects. Let's try a different way of doing this. This time, let's go directly to Shapes. And now you'll see there are a lot of shapes available. Basic, geometry, objects, animals, etc. So our first goal is to pick a shape. And once we pick that shape, let's pick that umbrella. Now, once we pick that umbrella shape, we can expand that to the size that we want. Now, this is a different approach than the previous version. So here we are, we've got that large. Once we've got it positioned exactly where we want it, we go over to the right and we move to Style. Make sure Style selected. And in Color Fill, use that drop down to find Image Fill. And when you do that, you see that image is a default grade. Now let's drag an image over. This is the blue sky image we used earlier and drop it in here. And there you get that sky image inside the umbrella. Let's bring another image, a fire. Drag that and drop it. And now we have this image. Let's look at one more just to get a sense of what we can do. We'll go ahead and drag this tree view and drop it in there. And that's the view that you get. So here we are, we've got the setup and we know how this works. So now let's go back and return it to where it was. Okay, this is the default mode that we were in earlier. And let's shrink it down a little bit and see what if we want to combine more than one shape. So let's pick another shape. Let's go to animals and pick that duck. And now let's resize and position this to where we think we might want the image to be. This is the kind of tool you can use to create a logo or something that you can use on your website, etc. So I'm trying to kind of position this so we have it just the way I like it. And so here we have the umbrella covering the duck. Now select both. And your natural inclination is to right click and group. And that won't work. Grouping doesn't work for this particular effort. What we need to do is go up to Format and then back to Shapes and Lines and then see this Unite Shapes. That Unite Shapes is what we need. Once we select Unite Shape, they're combined. And now once again, we can go back to Color Fill and change that to Image Fill. And we had the green trees before, and so that's what it's default to. We can bring the blue sky in. And we can also bring the fire in if we want to. And it defaults to that background. So you can create this and then click out of it and then do a copy paste and uh, export this as a transparent image and use it in your other applications. But what about letters and words? Let's go ahead and select text. Let's put the text in here. Let's use the letter N and uh, let's select text and set that font size to something large, say 600. There, that's pretty large. Let's make it bold. Maybe change the font type from Helvetica New to something different. Let's see, uh, there we are, Helvetica New. Let's uh, choose Impact. 
And there we've got the character set up. And once again, we can go to text color here, do the drop down bar, select image fill, and now drag an image across. Let's use the blue sky. And there you have it. Or just like before, we can drag the fire across and you have that image there. And that's a pretty cool thing. And here's a tree, which also can be interesting. Let's return it back to the default black color and say, what if we want to do more than one text character? There we are, we can type another character, me, M-E. And it works exactly the same as we did with the M. So we select that, we come down to the text color, select image fill, and it's gone back to the trees that we had when we last implemented it. And that's all there is to it. And we'll cover this effect in a separate video because it's a little more complicated because it has the mask and the background. Thank you so much for watching.